And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Chat of the Day. It's the 1st of August 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets to lead around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. We saw mild gains across the major indices in the US overnight as the bulls remain very much in control. Earnings continue to be at 80% plus, beating the EPS so far. Lots of surprises going on. I think revenue beats around about 65% at this stage. Markets have got eyes on jobs data later in the week. We've got the ADP Wednesday, weekly jobs Thursday, and of course the non farm payrolls on Friday. US futures are mildly higher in the Asian session and Asian markets generally following US lead. ASX is a third of a percent to the upside prior to that RBA release of its latest rate decision this afternoon, and European futures are pointing to a cautious open. The VIX remains historically low, at levels not seen for three and a half years. The US dollar index trades slightly higher after small pullback Friday. It is trading slightly higher again today in Asia. Gold remains in the short term trading range with 1980 to the upside, 1940 to the downside as the two levels of interest. Copper had a good day yesterday and tested key level at $4. Just pulled back a little bit after the Chinese PMI data was a little soft. Oil, however, is looking good again. It breached that key 80 level yesterday continued to edge upwards throughout the session now he is at 15 month high if you are seeing a little softness in asia at this stage but worthwhile checking in on later bitcoin remains supported around about twenty nine thousand, and of course earnings ramp up in the us we've got starbucks chk merck and pfizer being two of the big pharmaceuticals also reporting tonight Got that RBA decision uh, the expectation is that the RBA may pause but of course we've seen that story before a couple of months ago, in fact. So don't count your chickens, etc. You just can see the market respond to that either way. As we said, the Chinese PMI came in a little bit soft, showed contraction with a number under 50. But US manufacturing PMI later, and also German and Eurozone jobs, really are the highlights of the day today. A couple of charts at Core RI. On the ASX, we're looking at JB Hi Fi. You can see this retest of a key level. At 46.42, we're just pushing above that today towards the highs of the session. You can see this was last tested back in April and May. So this move to the upside, if we hold it, could yield a possible move up to around about this 48.90 level, which is around about 5%. So one to keep an eye on towards the back end of the day. Obviously, this is going to be affected by the RBA rate decision being in the retail sector. In the FX world, we are looking at the Euro Canadian dollar on the hourly chart. You can see there we've essentially bounced off a level here, around about 144.75. Continued this move up today throughout the session, now sitting at around about 145.20. About 13 pips to the upside is this pivot level here, which also corresponds to this resistance that we had a couple of days ago and support we had a few days ago as well. So, a breach of 145. 34 may yield an upside potential of around about 40 pips, possibly around about 145.73. So that's one to keep an eye on over the next few hours. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.